Valley Christian has been searching for a more permanent home for its football program and is eyeing a piece of land on Youngstown's south side as a prime location. As First News reporter John Rudder explains, there's a few hurdles to clear before the project can get underway. Uh, they may have some help in the process. There's so much history there. And I think sometimes when you go by that, you just remember what was. But Michael Peckia, president of Valley Christian School, hopes to transform that mindset into what could be. That property holds a lot of history. South High School, um, the football field, South Field House, just so much rich history of athletics, especially football. Valley Christian School is proposing to build a multi-million dollar athletic facility on the property. For the last six years, it's served as the practice facility for the football team. Pecchia has eyes on a more permanent home. Over the last six years, we played in five different stadiums over the years. So we're kind of nomadic. Phase one of the project would cost about four and a half million dollars and be used for a new turf field, bleachers for 3,000 people and a new eight lane track. But phase two would cost another four and a half million dollars and will be dedicated towards building a new field house. But there's still plenty to go through before those plans can even get off the ground. Before any work can begin, the old South Field House must come down. But in order to fit a track in a stadium, we need the area that the current field house sits on. The field house really is no use for us. The Mahoning County Land Bank is requesting $302,000 for demolition, included in a series of brownfield grants. But in partnering with the city, the city could put forth the funds if legislation is passed by city council, which would mean the state brownfield money would reimburse the city for assisting in the work. And, you know, had to spend a few thousand dollars to tear down an establishment. Um, that's a, a menial um, expense for such a large investment. Valley Christian plans to start capital fundraising for the project in the coming months with hopes to have the facility open by the 2025 football season. Private donors. Um, we're going to try to see if there's grants out there. We're going to try to go get all the money that would be available for a, a, product, pro, a project like this. Reporting in Youngstown, John Rutter, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.